To intervene or not to intervene is the question every time a major conflict breaks out. While some receive immediate attention, others are slowly forgotten by the international community, as is the case in Syria. On Wednesday, the 30th of April, the Amnesty International Society hosted a public lecture in the Radcliffe Center about the humanitarian crisis in Syria that has been going on since the uprising three years ago. Guest speaker Hannah Slater, Amnesty International UK's country coordinator for Syria, explained the complex situation in the region. The NGOs are working with the UN to try and um, uh, make sure that the UN is doing everything that it can do um, to, to make sure that the aid gets across those borders. With over 2.7 million refugees outside and the government's tactical use of starvation against civilians inside the country, it remains questionable why countries such as the United States are not supporting a referral to the International Criminal Court. Amnesty um, is asking anybody who can to get involved. We also just want to keep Syria on the political and um, media agenda. So that means talking about Syria, promoting the Syrian non-violence movement, um, because who, who we're really um, working with closely, um, so that people understand that there are really um, peaceful activists out there and civil society who are working for uh, a democratic uh, Syria that respects human rights for all. The lecture was concluded with an intensive question and answer session and a photo action that will be sent to organizations like the Syrian Nonviolence Movement. Nobody knows how the Syrian crisis will play out, but in the meantime, people can help peaceful organizations like Amnesty with their work. This is Queenie Sheikh for Buckingham News.